Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host NJW and I'm back with another Twisted Crimes episode. Somebody shoot my baby. The way! I'm gonna show you how to turn up on your mother birthday! Woo! God damn it, I just got an accident and I gotta keep going, so I'm gonna call y'all a I got to go, I got to go. Oh, whatever, because I'm not stopping. We don't like for money no more. Well, I'm the nigga with money. I don't know about y'all. This is the story of Janicia Mason, aged 19, a young lady who was shot and killed by Joseph Aparicio, aged 29, after she got into his car in a suspicious part of town for unknown reasons. Her body was later found days later lying in a bed of rocks along the Trinity River in Fort Worth under a bridge. Her friends and families were shocked she got into a car with a stranger who eventually ended her life. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. When new this morning, the Fort Worth police need your help figuring out what happened to a woman who was found dead under a bridge last week. This story will be taking us to Euless, Texas. Euless is part of the mid-cities region between Dallas and Fort Worth. Living in Euless offers residents a dense suburban feel and most residents rent their homes. Euless, also known as Tree City USA, is a city in north slash western Texas near Dallas and Fort Worth. Euless is approximately 20 minutes northwest of Dallas and 25 minutes northeast of Fort Worth. Part of the Dallas, Fort Worth International Airport is located within Euless. Janicia Nene Mason was born on February 12, 2004. She was from Shreveport, Louisiana, but lived in Euless, Texas. Okay, well, that's you. But on the other hand, me? Oh, I'm gonna turn up. She studied at Tarrant County College and later worked at Ulta Beauty in Chick fil A. She was described as a very sweet, loving, happy, funny, and adorable person. You forgot gorgeous, because she definitely gorgeous. Janicia moved to Texas at a point in her life from Shreveport, Louisiana. Her mother wasn't really happy with the decision but she lived with it. She was really close to her daughter, she said they speak every day and were best friends. She was very close to her sister too. They were best friends and loved each other so much. Trouble started on March 17, 2023 when her mother Barbara Taylor didn't hear from her daughter as usual. She tried to contact her but there was no response whatsoever. She was a bit confused about what happened but did the right thing. She filed a report with the police department and the search for Janicia was on. She was then officially declared missing by the police which prompted a massive search. Barbara and her husband went to Texas soon after and started searching on their own. They appealed to people to help them and weird enough, while they were searching, they stumbled upon a body that was not Janicia's. That what we're here for? Um, I'm here, my daughter. So while they was looking for another, this young lady, they stumbled up another on another young lady. God damn. They just killing people and they're dumping them in for a work? Daughter have been missing since Friday. Um, no one's heard from her since Friday night. Um, I text her about 6.20, 6.30, she texts me back, I told my daughter I miss her, come home, she said, mama, I miss you too, I'm trying to get my life together, I'm coming home, she's supposed to come back home on Monday, she never returned, no phone calls, no text me. I wonder what she meant by she was trying to get her life together, what are they trying, what are they trying not to tell us? 
phone is going straight to voicemail. Um, the only thing that I have is she was with this girl, Angel. I've been looking for her, and she's the only person that I know that would have known what have went on and where she and um, something about a red Monte Carlo that picked her up right here behind the Walnut Hill Inn, right, a right. Mexican guy. So they said she got in the car with a Mexican guy and never came back. Right. So I'm not sure, but if anybody. Okay, so I understand now what they're trying not to tell us. Because you don't got no English to know what get in the car mean. They have any information of um, dealing with my daughter, Janicia. Uh, they call her Nini. Um, please reach out to me. Inbox message topic. Let them know what's going on. I want my baby to come home. And this is no feeling that no mother should have to even endure. I need all the help I can get. And let, and let me explain for the people trying that's kind of confused. They was at her looking for their daughter and came across another body. Yes, um, security was out here asking us to leave and they spotted secure, um, a body out here while we was out here. So. That's why you see all the medical examiners out here now. So they found the, another body while they was out looking for their for their daughter, for her for their daughter. They found the body of a black male, so... No, oh, a black male. Police started to dig further and they learned oh, that. On female. that fateful day, Janicia had gotten into a red Chevrolet Monte Carlo on March 23rd with a Hispanic man around 9 p.m. and she was never seen alive again. Surveillance footage showed the red... Oh, okay. So they're showing us the shoes but not telling us what the shoes meant. Car driving through that area known for street prostitution an hour okay. or so later. At that same time, Janicia's cell phone pinged in the same location. They did a public record search for all red Chevrolet Monte Carlos in the Dallas Fort Worth area, which ultimately led them to a young man named Joseph Aparicio, age 29. A swab done on the front passenger seat of the Monte Carlo tested positive for blood. Women's clothing matching what Janicia was wearing that night were also found in Joseph's bedroom. On March 23, 2023, her body was found lying in a bed of rocks along the Trinity River in Fort Worth. She had been shot twice and thrown under the bridge. So he just killed her and tossed her under the bridge like she was a bag of garbage. So they treat us mayetes. We're back with the family desperate to find out what happened to a young woman from Dallas after her body was discovered under a bridge. Janicia Mason's family reported her missing in Dallas earlier this month, and a few days later, police found her body under a bridge in Fort Worth. Mason's mother told Sydney Cursing someone has to know something about her 19 year old daughter. Oh, she was 19. Under this bridge, packed by the dirt and weeds and bugs. This is where Fort Worth police found 19-year-old Janicia Mason's body, called her mom Barbara to make the ID. She was just thrown out like she wasn't nothing, like she was nobody. She was somebody. She was my baby. Police say Janicia went missing out of Dallas March 19th, <sighs> but found her body all the way in Fort Worth. It's got to be heartbreaking. Man, finding out, finding out your daughter was just thrown out like a bag of trash. I feel sorry for the mother and the baby. Birth four days later. It's not clear how she got there or how she died. Investigators won't say much, but are asking aggressively and urgently for anyone with information to come forward. Somebody knows something. Barbara told me Janicia just graduated high school. Loved to do hair and nails and makeup, take videos. Was looking forward to buying a car, getting braces. Her funeral will not happen here. Instead, Janicia will be laid to rest in Louisiana, where she was born. I love Texas until I feel like Texas is place to swallow up my baby. It's a vulnerable thing. I couldn't even go there. I didn't even have the courage to go there. To show people your pain so publicly. <laughs> But Barbara hopes showing you her hurt might compel you to help and tell police what you know, if you know anything. Detectives saw markings and impressions in the dirt between her body and the gravel strip near the edge of the road. 
This meant that she was killed somewhere else and was dragged to where she was ultimately discovered. Joseph Aparicio, 29, was subsequently arrested and booked sometimes around 1.20 a.m. for murdering 19-year-old Janicia Mason. This is a young woman whose body was found under a bridge in Fort Worth was shot to death. Police arrested a man for murdering 19-year-old Janicia Mason last week, but questions still remain about what led up to that shooting. Fox Wars Peyton Yeager joins us now because, Peyton, I know you had a chance to speak with Mason's mother, and she still has, of course, a lot of questions. What can you tell us? I did, Heather, and she is just back from her daughter's funeral. It was this weekend in Louisiana, and we know the 19-year-old was found with multiple gunshot wounds. However, it's still a mystery because she, her mom says she was last seen in Dallas, but then her body was found under a bridge in Fort Worth, and police say the alleged killer was arrested in Haltom City. Under this Fort Worth bridge, investigators found the body of 19-year-old Janicia Mason late last month. Monday, the Tarrant County Medical Examiner's website says Mason's death was ruled a homicide due to multiple gunshot wounds. Every time I hear it, it's like a piece of me is just dying and dying in the inside because she didn't deserve it at all. Mason's mother, Barbara Taylor, just returned to North Texas Monday after her daughter's funeral over the weekend in Louisiana. That's the part that I'm glad that she's put to rest. Yes, ma'am. I'm glad that my daughter is put to rest and I was able to find her. However, Taylor says her daughter was laid to rest still with so many questions. Taylor says the last day she talked to her daughter was March 17th. She said that she was going to give me a call and and I called after dinner. She didn't pick up the next morning. She didn't pick up and I started getting worried. Fort Worth police say on March 23rd, they received a call that someone located Mason under a bridge off South Precinct Line Road in Fort Worth. A week later, Fort Worth investigators took 29-year-old Joseph Aparicio into custody. A he looked like he was out there buying something. He figured that he, since he stayed somewhere else, they weren't going to care about the black lady. It's just disgusting. Paracio sits in the Tarrant County Jail charged with murder. Fort Worth PD tells Fox 4 Monday, Aparicio was arrested at his Haltom City home just after 1 a.m. on March 30th. Mason's family says she was last seen alive in Dallas with other friends. It's still unclear how she knew Aparicio and how her body ended up nearly 30 miles away. Did you not think that she have family, a big, huge family and friends that love her? That's right, that's what he thought. Like, you hurt a lot of people. He really hurt a lot of people. Fort Worth police also haven't released why they believe Aparicio killed Mason. It's also unknown where exactly Mason was killed before she was dumped. Online records show Aparicio does have a criminal history, including an unlawful possession with a firearm in 2022. I'm like, it's real live monsters that walk amongst us that don't, I mean, look like monsters, but are actually monsters. Joseph Aparicio remains in custody at the Tarrant County Jail after his arrest. Janicia was laid to rest in Louisiana, which is where she was born. Police believed something might have triggered Joseph after mm -hmm. he picked up Janicia, ultimately pay. making him kill her and dumping her body under the bridge. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Janicia Mason. Let's be more careful with the people we hang around with. May Janicia's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for gun violence survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video. Well, there you have it. Another episode of Twisted Crimes. I don't know what to tell you about this one. It's a lot of un unanswered questions and no answers to be had. So, see you guys next time and thank you for joining me.